Hello everyone, welcome to the Google Kubernetes Engine for Absolute Beginners course. This is an introduction video to highlight the structure of this course, in other words, how the different sections are organized. But before I start highlighting the course structure, I would like to introduce myself to all of you. My name is Asif Ahmed, a Red Hat Certified Engineer as well as AWS Certified Personnel. I graduated in Computer Science way back in 2007. Although I started my career as a web developer, after working for many years in web development track, I started working on maintaining and configuring Linux-based servers and cloud infrastructure in AWS and Google Cloud Platform. While working, I achieved a number of professional certificates, not only from Red Hat but also from AWS and Zend Technologies. Because I have solid and real-life work experience in dealing with cutting-edge technologies like AWS, GCP, Kubernetes, Ansible, and many more, I decided to enlighten the world with my knowledge that I have achieved over the past years. Throughout the course, I will try my level best to illustrate the various aspects of Google Cloud Platform and Google Kubernetes Engine in an easy way with lots of examples and assignments that will not only help you understand the underlying concepts, but also give you the confidence to apply the knowledge that you will gain in this course. Now let's see what will be taught throughout the course. The first section is all about highlighting some core features of Google Cloud Platform, whereas the next section will mainly focus on one of the core services of GCP, which is Google Kubernetes Engine, or GKE in short. In the first section, we will start the course with an introductory overview of the GCP console that can be used to navigate various services of GCP. Then, we will go through the usages of GCP's command line interface known as Google Cloud Shell. We will get to know how to use this Google Cloud Shell to interact with various GCP services. Then we will see how to create virtual machines using both GCP Console and Google Cloud Shell. We will also see in the first section how to distribute traffic across a number of servers using Load Balancer. In the following section, where we get to know various features of Google Kubernetes Engine, We'll focus on deploying microservices in a Kubernetes cluster on Google infrastructure. You will also get to know various ways of deployment in Kubernetes cluster.
We'll also see the usage of various Docker commands from a very high level. Furthermore, in this section, we'll see the process of setting up and implementing continuous delivery pipelines with Jenkins in Google Kubernetes Engine. Hope you enjoy the course. For any queries, you can reach me directly through LinkedIn. Or if you want, you can also email me. I promise to reply. Before we jump into the details of this course, let me point out some prerequisites for the course. Though this course is for absolute beginners, it's good to have some basic knowledge of Linux commands. This course is not about Kubernetes itself. Therefore, I expect you to have some basic understanding of various Kubernetes objects, such as pods, deployments, services, and so on. As this course is mostly about Google Kubernetes Engine, you need an active account on Google Cloud Platform so that you can do enough practices while going through this course.